Good morning, everyone, and uh, very welcome. Uh, before we start, we have a disclosure. Very important, please. Uh, normally, we start around uh, at 10 o'clock Eastern time, but uh, we start a little bit early, so if we can pick up some signals, uh, it will be very nice. So I'm going to be staying uh, quiet here until 10 o'clock, and then uh, normally we start around 10 o'clock, and uh, we will start at 10 o'clock. Thank you. I made some a new template. I will cover it later on, uh, and uh, we will share it with the. If you see what is the cell signal here, uh, I will be sharing it with uh, our uh, members. Uh, uh, I don't know where to put uh, the ES, but also we have an ES trade. Uh, and uh, uh, then uh, we will uh, try to cover all those uh, trades today. Uh, for um, for our customers uh, for the new auto trade, uh, I want to show you. I will I will cover it uh, very soon uh, for the auto trade as well. Uh, this is uh, the new auto trades. Uh, we are now testing it without any filter, and uh, this is the results earlier today on that auto trade and um, as you see uh, this one here we started uh, i started around a couple of three hours ago and um, has not been reloaded and this is a minute and if we notice on the es one trade two trade three trades four trades non-stop uh, on the es and uh, it is amazing this is without even a filter yet so this is the auto trade, uh, the ones we are about to release very soon. And uh, we will uh, share it and we cover it. On the YM and the NASDAQ in two, three days made uh, uh, 3,345 on the NASDAQ, on the YM 4,000. So we will, we will be covering that uh, very soon and uh, we will be uh, covering some really, really stuff uh, is really, really good. Uh, I'm going to stay quiet for the next, um, until 10 o'clock. We still have 20 minutes uh, uh, before we start. And um, and uh, we, will, uh, we will be covering a lot today. Uh, for yesterday, uh, I had some kind of, a power shortage and I, I lost the net, I lost power, I lost everything. But what I understood from my traders, um, it was an amazing day yesterday. Uh, by the time I got uh, everything back online, it was around 1.30 in the afternoon. I just don't want to, to do this. We had a tons of work, but um, uh, for the traders, um, 
they if they have a snapshot from yesterday i'd love to see uh, the snapshot i got a lot of uh, messages that it was a great day but it is different when a customer sent me a snapshot um uh, we'll be uh, sitting tight and uh, probably we are going to get a, a new signal and uh, i need to set up a few things and then uh, we will start at 10 o'clock thank you very much thank you Uh, for yes, uh, for for today, I want to uh, share a new chart with you. How we can take advantage of uh, the FIPS with the signals you already have them on your charts, uh, and I will be sending those templates today. Uh, this is extremely powerful uh, chart. Yet it is very clear, very clean, and there is nothing in it but signal and symmetry signals and reversal signals it is amazing chart even if you are waiting on a, a signal uh, in conjunction with a, uh, with a, uh, this it is amazing it is really amazing and um, i will be sharing this with uh, my customers uh, the members and um, if you have the indicators back and all this, uh, that's very fine. If you have only the zones, it's, it's not gonna help only the zone um, because you still need the indicators to get all the stuff with it. Uh, we will cover that also in time and um, we will, uh, we will uh, stay a little bit tight because we are about to get the new signals. That's why I started. For the ones who has not been here with us, you're very welcome to follow us, but uh, at your own risk and on a sim. Uh, we're not collecting any emails. We're not collecting money. We are not. We're just trying to help uh, traders out there struggling. So if you want to follow those signals, please, uh, it is on sim. Uh, we're not allowed to call live trades for you. Uh, you will see as of now we got a new signal on the YM. Well, it's supposed to be a signal here. I don't know if I missed it or not, but uh, you will get the new signals. Okay, there we go. New signal YM. Uh, entry price six, uh, 268, uh, target 5349. Uh, all what you see here, it is uh, the market analyzer is based on one minute with an entry pullback re-entry and uh, the market analyzer um, it is based on one minute and one lot only uh, on this one here the chart we are using the auto trade for that market analyzer and we are using two lots uh, the same story apply for stocks and forex then uh, we have uh, here the blue market analyzers are the scalpers and then at the bottom here, we have the swing trading, and it is an amazing job today on the swing trading, and I would love to cover the swing trading. Uh, actually, we are finished with the swing trading. There is not much left on it, but they all hit the target, and I will share my screen with you, and you can see the targets hit on the, uh, on the, uh, on the swing trading. Uh, there is nothing, just a couple of charts left but uh, what i'm using i'm using one minute two minutes and three minutes but you are very welcome to use ticks 288 ticks is extremely good 244 ticks is extremely good 150 ticks is uh, very good the range four and six and eight they are very good but um, i don't have any more place honestly so what i'm doing i'm doing just the basic one and and uh, three minutes and five minutes and if the system work on a one minute and three minutes and five minutes all this weird looking charts there will be no problem but if you your auto trade does not work on the one minute then you have a problem with that and it's a piece of junk what you have well all what you can do you cannot do anything about it just right click and delete it an auto trade has to work on one minute before you go rank a bar um, all kind of weird stuff out there they try to refuge to different time frame because they cannot use the indicator or the auto trade on one minute the minute the indicator or the auto trade cannot be trade on one minute is piece of junk because it is the charts based on on minutes 
it's not uh, based on some kind of weird looking uh, line break, whatever the hell is that. Who can trade a line break? I never heard of it. Okay, guys, uh, in, uh, in a few minutes, we'll be with you. Thank you very much. Uh, let me show you something uh, to our members uh, on the this is a new auto trade and without any filter yet. Uh, we had one losing trade, practically break even uh, on the CL, and now on the CL we have one trade is one thousand six hundred and forty on that one here. So this is uh, the new auto trade we are about uh, to release. And um, uh, on the one minute, uh, on the three minutes, I apologize. This is your three minutes. If you can notice, it's been cut in two pieces on the three minutes. It exited, and then you can see how this market was going down, and it exit right on time, actually, on the three minutes. And then I re-entered the market, which is very fine which uh, the five minutes has cleaned. Uh, the noises are less on the five minutes. That's why we're still on one trade. But actually, I'm not looking at the numbers as much as I'm looking how that auto trade can handle volatility. Uh, this is the weakness uh, among the amateur trading that when they are starting the auto trade, they have no clue if this market is a trending or this market is a volatility or this market is a stock in channels they have no clue 
most of the auto traders, they just look at numbers. If the numbers are good, they say it's a good auto trade. And if the numbers are not good, they say it's a bad auto trade. Despite the market movement, uh, despite the volatility, despite all this, they just brush it off and they uh, uh, stay on that corner that um, uh, it's not their fault, it's somebody else's fault. Denial, denial, denial. So this is uh, where um, the uh, the uh, the the auto trade on the uh, on the uh, the five minutes and the three minutes uh, the new auto trade and now what we are doing we are really hammering it uh, giving it putting it under a lot of stress in order without the filters and uh, the filters we apply it later on but we wanted to see. Uh, the accuracy, uh, the accuracy on that, uh, because we have a plenty auto trades. We don't need really to make a new auto trade. But uh, the reason, the purpose for that auto trade, uh, practically with all the respect for handicapped traders, you know. So uh, this way, for those guys, they 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 just cannot read it, you know. So we have developed something here that you turn on, turn off, and then once we put the filters on, uh, then um, uh, once you put your filters on, then you are, uh, you, I don't want to say safe, because this is a harsh word, I mean, you know. But what I wanted to say it is, uh, so this trader is not going to go through the wall, you know, hit his head with the wall. So. We have learned a lot how uh, traders behave for the last 10 years. You know, we've been public for 10 years now. So we have learned how uh, traders behave. And, um, um, and, um, and uh, there is a big difference between somebody know how to read the market and somebody don't know. It's a huge difference. And you cannot make everybody uh, dance the same rhythm. So we need to, um, there is two things here on that auto trade uh, we have done. If you do, you do not see the volatility in the market, you cannot see when the market is getting stuck in a channel. You cannot see when the market is sideways, you cannot trade. You are not allowed uh, uh, you're not allowed to be aggressive. So there is two options here. You have, we're going to make him in, in, a, in a three different levels. And uh, we're taking our time. We're not going to be rushing and send it out like what we have done before. It's going to be the aggressive type because we have had experience before where when you filter the auto trade, we have a guy within two minutes, he start getting itchy. Why is not taking a trade? And come and see why is not taking a trade. Because he wants action all the time. So for those guys, there is no use to sit down and tell him to sit on your hands and not do anything. So what we are doing, we are going to split it into three pieces. For the aggressive guy, go ahead be my guest, jump out of the window anytime you like. And then you have the medium uh, trader, which most of the traders are on the medium level. And then you have the conservative. Once we put those filters on and, um, and the guy is, cannot read the market, he has to go on the conservative level. You cannot be aggressive and you just wanted the auto trade uh, to uh, to be aggressive and you don't know how to read the market and you hardly have any money in the market and you just want to kick uh, ass with it. You cannot do that on any kind of auto trade. So if you have a limited amount of money, you don't know what to read. A lack of money and a lack of experience is not equal to success is equal to, to disaster. 
I can comprehend if you don't have an experience. I can comprehend um, you have a small amount of money, but uh, you have to stick by uh, the safety, you know, so you will not, uh, you know, bump your head to the wall. So you cannot have it both way, you either this way or that way. If you want it to be aggressive, you can be aggressive. We have a plenty of auto trades are very aggressive. They never stopped uh, trading. And we have the swing trading. We have the scalping. There, you can refuse to different auto trades. We don't have one slack of auto trade. We have a huge uh, uh, different type of an auto trading. So, but this one here, it is meant for those guys can survive volatility, simple as that. And you don't need to, um, how to say that, you don't need to sit down and uh, and um, sit down for the next six months trying to optimize an auto trade, which most of them, they cannot even optimize an auto trade. Uh, the market is uh, going through little volatility at the moment. And uh, the reason is uh, because right now we are going on to, we have uh, all hands off, please, on the trading right now. Within five minutes, we have at 10 o'clock, we have a three major news. So please uh, stay on the side. Uh, and that included uh, the, the, so we have three major news right there. And uh, uh, please uh, try to uh, stay out of the trade until the news is out of the way, which you can see it right here, right in front of you. There is three major news. And then what we will do, we will be covering uh, some of um, uh, the new chart we have made it for you guys. It is extremely powerful chart, and yet it is. I don't know if I can do this with the um, with the um, uh, switching the um, uh, screen. I'm scared to do that, and then I'm gonna be ruin everything. So. Okay. Uh, let me try my luck with it because yesterday we. I want to show you uh, what we are doing here. Let me see if I can switch uh, the screen. Uh, this is your swing trading. Uh, it's a very simple, folks. What you have here is the one minute without any filter of the swing trading. And the one minute is filtered. Three minutes without any filter. Three minutes are filtered. Five minutes without a filter. Five minutes is filtered. If we take as an example, uh, the DAX, uh, this is my favorite time frame uh, on the DAX, which you can see we started today at 6.55. By the time uh, we took a two trade on the DAX and it nailed one trade, two trades, and uh, we nailed 3,030 on two trades on the DAX. This one here without a filter. And this one is with a filter. It's the same. It's the same, folks. So there is not uh, much different between a filter and not a filter. The reason uh, you will see the difference between a filter and not filter 
uh, when the market is uh, getting into a lot of a chop. But when the market is trending, you will not have those filters problem. The gray ones, those are the new auto trade. We are, we have not released and only to qualified people that will be released too. Let's take another um, <clears throat> a trade. This is without a filter. We took one trade, two trade, three trade on the CL, and this is a $780 on the CL trades. This is the filter one, uh, the one minute is the same amount. So we're not, uh, if this market moving is the same trade. So don't be scared uh, to uh, use a filter, you know, and I have sent you the filters when we were, uh, Uh, and we can go on and on and on. Uh, now on the DAX, there is a $3,000 and $3,000, both of them with and without filter is the same. Let's take one more and then uh, we need to go back and cover our trades. Uh, this is a $2,000 based on one trade. The first trade was at 659, folks. And this is without any filter, one minute. And this is with a filter, one minute. It is 1,990. So, so there is not much different between a filter and not filter. The only thing is different is uh, the, uh, when the markets uh, get in volatility, uh, this is where I hope you can see the screen. Uh, okay, so now we have a, a new a trade on the uh, on the YM CL, and uh, there is a double resistance here on the uh, CL. It's not going to go anywhere. We have a double resistance, and uh, we have the ES also taking a trade. Uh, the ES, and here is your target. We're going to take it a little bit further down. And um, we were busy with this auto trade. Uh, to our traders, I have made something very, very, very powerful and very clean. And there is nothing in that charts uh, but signals. And uh, you're very welcome. Uh, every single trader is very welcome to have this template. You just say template on the Skype and I will be more than glad uh, to send you the templates once we are done with the webinar. Just write template and then I'll slip it for you on the Skype. Let me give you something here. It is amazingly strong charts. Uh, this is, is in your system and which uh, this is my next project um, uh, we have oh, there we go uh, we have actually a signal we have a signal we have not you know we have so many stuff sometimes i forget what what we have uh, uh, th this one here i want to make an auto trade about a uh, fully automated trade and on that indicator folks it does not require any optimization. It gives you buy and the sell. And it is extremely, extremely accurate. One, after we are finished with that project, of course, I will be making that uh, auto trade. It is amazing. First of all, you have the symmetry here. I didn't want to populate it a lot because um, I didn't want to include too many reversal on it. Those here, you can see where the bar change direction. Those are your symmetry. They are extremely, extremely accurate. Actually, you have them on the reversal automated trade. 
then you have uh, the buy and the sell entry, and this is your symmetry. None of this stuff, none of this stuff repaint. Zero repaint, folks. There is nothing repaint here. If you notice when you have those symmetry, and then you have a sell signal, right there earlier this morning, we had the signal, and you can see how far that ES from that signal has uh, took. And then on the same time, the symmetry can help you and identify the dead end for that market. So this is extremely powerful uh, calculation. Then you have the signal and then it's telling you when to buy again and buy again. And uh, also at the same time here, this is um, also, this is not from your zones, those are from your indicator, this line here. It's not from the zone, it's from your indicator. And this one has been plotted all morning. When this market came in with the symmetry here, and that line here, this is a short trade. Then what I have done to you, I have added, and look, if you notice here, we had a earlier signals, sell, sell entry. And then you have another sell entry right now. A few minutes ago, we got the sell entry. And now you will get the symmetry and you will get the reversals on it, when to buy, when to sell, when to exit. This is one of the most, it is extremely powerful, yet it is very clean. And it is nothing in it but signals. Not None of those junk indicators, nothing in it except the signals. Then we put the the signal, this one here, we use uh, the one minute and we use the charts on the one minute because I need to make a point. When you have a rest of those bozos come in with Renko bars and a line break and a God knows banana Renko bar, banana charts, I don't know where the hell they come out with this so they can avoid the one minute. In uh, uh, here, I'm, I'm using the one minute because I need to make a point in here. But on this system here, you are very welcome to use the three minutes Hakanachi on it. If you don't know how to do that, you go to data series here and you have the minutes and then you go to Hakanachi and then um, and then you put the three minutes or if uh, this makes you happy, uh, you wanna use the one minute, whatever makes you happy, whatever it makes you takes, you can do that. And you can combine the signal entry from the one minute and the three minutes, and it is a damn robust signal. And um, <clears throat> and it is amazing, uh, 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 and it is very clean, and there is nothing in it but uh, uh, signals, based on signals. And then uh, you have the FIPS, and, um, you know, I, I'm not gonna, I really don't have time to sit down and uh, toggle with the FIBS. And um, as a trader, you should know what is FIBS. Uh, if you don't know what is FIBS, do your homework. If you don't know what is a trailing stop, go do your homework. If you don't know what is um, a limited order, market order, please go do your homework. You know, and uh, all this, I'm not gonna get involved in. This is basic information a trader should be aware of it without me getting involved in this and getting wasting time on something is irrelevant uh, the, the, the the new auto trade uh, right now it is on a market order it's not limited order but I told the programmers to go ahead and add limited order for those guys. Uh, they, they prefer to have a market order. They understand how to handle market order. So why we have to 
uh, make uh, the other guys know the market, pay the price. So I told him to go back and add a limited order. But what we are using right now, on the system, I'm concentrating on the three minutes mainly. The reason I'm concentrating on the three minutes, because we have people in Australia, Malaysia, Hong Kong, Thailand, uh, USA, Europe, um, and the three minutes is not extreme, and it's not too little, and it's not too uh, too much. So this is where I'm, I'm 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 concentrating on the three minutes, and I'm not thinking. Uh, the reason I wanted to stress it uh, doing the globex because the globex there is not much movement as much as when the U.S. markets open. So what I'm trying to do stress it uh, to. I'm not interested testing that auto trade when the market's open. I know how much can make when the market's open. But what I wanted to do, stress it when before the news, when the market is sideways, when there is no more volume. This is the whole purpose of that auto trade. I know how to run and ride that auto trade, but that guy cannot read the market. How are you going to make him read the market? You put him in the room, you put him in the webinar, you, and he still don't understand how this market moves. So what are you going to do with him? You know, so you give him something that he's not going to go ahead and uh, jump out of a window and then uh, blaming everyone else. You know, so my main concern to, to stick on the three minutes and and uh, the ones that want it to be aggressive, they can go one minute, they can go 150 takes for range, whatever, you can do that. But my main concern, the whole, uh, um, the three minutes can iron some of the noises in the market, but at the same time, once we put the filters on them, it will be cutting off a lot of trade, and then he can stay with the market order because it's still, we have 50% of the traders don't understand when you are going on the slippage and a market order and if it is some kind of weird news out there uh, that uh, you can bump into two ticks of slippage in the morning and uh, to, to an entry and you're going to bump into uh, also two ticks of slippage on the way out. So again, the trader cannot have it both of ways. So if you don't want the slippage, you want it to use a limited order. And if you don't mind about the slippage, then um, that um, I have some people last year, uh, the year before, I'll never forget that day, uh, the dome, uh, you couldn't even place an order on the dome. And uh, we have a traders that just went in and and the market when england got out of the eec uh, you couldn't even place an order on the chart because it's moving so fast and there we go we have some guys that want to scalp the market so when they were scalping the market and they put it a market order and it was the dome was flipping one page after the other because the market was going very fast immediately on that news the slippage was 10 takes in and 10 takes out. They want to scalp the market on a very fast moving market. He cannot do that. So uh, this is something uh, traders should be aware of. Uh, I, I mean, you know, if this market, there is a bad news or good news, some kind of freaks out of the country that want to do something that is going to have a spook the market. It might ignite the market. I don't know. Uh, so, those things, uh, a trader should know the, the, the basic. It's not me sit down and babysitting uh, to learn a basic. Try to go on Google. Try to learn what is a limited order. Try to go and see what is a fib line. Uh, uh, we have, um, we have uh, made a promotion on the fib lines. Uh, very cheap uh, to to have a uh, monthly but does not mean i come with it you know uh, and uh, uh, you know and sit down and chat 24 7 
because you have a $35 subscription. I don't come with the package. So uh, we, this uh, package for the zone, well, it is for people who know how to trade zone. If you don't know how to trade zone, do not purchase this one because I do not come with it. You know, and don't think you're gonna own me for your $35 a month. So uh, that it doesn't work this way. Uh, so the zones uh, are um, taken by the most professional traders and they love it. But if you don't know what is a zone, then uh, what is a fit, what is a support, what is a resistant, what is a, a limited order, what is a market order, what is a slippage, this is not our job, folks. This is not our job. This is something for a trader should be, uh, uh, if we have time, yes, we love to. We love to, but uh, also we have on Monday uh, for our members, they don't know FIBS, they don't know limited order. We are more than glad uh, to explain that on Monday webinar. Yes, we can go through every detail you want. But to sit down and chat with me on the Skype and log in on the team if you were to sit with you for one hour because you have a $35 zone, this is, is not going to happen. If you are a member, you don't know what is a slippage, it's our job to teach you what is a slippage, is what is a limited order. It is our job. But that is going to be in the webinar and we will record the webinar for you and then you can learn. We will, we will cover every single step you want from zero about trading. But I'm not your private butler to come in on a team viewer because you don't know how to put a sound on a chart or you don't know how um, uh, FIBs work and you want to sit down and nag my head all day long. It's not going to happen. <clears throat> yeah, because the traders don't understand there is another 400 members, you know, uh, and uh, he's not the only one sitting on the beach, you know. So we have to respect each other's space, please, on that. And uh, call it a good service, or call it a bad server service, I don't care. You know, call it as much as you like. But, uh, 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 you know, um, this is uh, the way it is. Uh, right now, uh, I wanna show you this uh, technical chart. We had the sell order on the, we have a three sell order on this one here. This is extremely powerful chart. And if you notice where is your target on the three minutes is this uh, 2717. And most likely we are getting that number folks. Once you get those area here, you will see, you will see how the symmetry and the reversal and uh, and the exit start kicking into this chart. It is an amazing chart, and I will be also tuning uh, that chart very very well. Uh, for base on the one minute, we are still going down on it slowly, nicely, and it is um, we are going down, but it is combining, folks. Uh, this one minute, you know where is your um, uh, your target. You know, yesterday uh, I had a power a shortage and um, and I couldn't come in on the web. We have one guy uh, just purchased the zone and I sent him a message uh, like uh, anybody else. I said, uh, I don't have internet. He didn't say, yeah, you know, uh, we all gonna have a problem. He said, how come you Skyping me if you don't have an internet? Immediately he have a doubt I didn't have an internet. You know, and, um, uh, and Stan saying, you know, oh, okay, then I'll see you tomorrow. He said, how come you're Skyping me? Because he forgot there is mobile phones with an internet, you know, so, uh, how 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 anybody can do that? You know how anybody can have a doubt when somebody is saying I have no internet, which yesterday 
Uh, ben, do you have, uh, is any of our traders have some uh, snapshot from yesterday? Because I don't want to show any snapshot because when I, at the end of the day yesterday, it was, uh, the numbers are amazing. I mean, it was beyond the dreams, the numbers, and I don't want to show those numbers because it comes out of me. Maybe there is a question about it, but when it comes out of a customer, it will be different. So to any of the members, if you took any of the small shots yesterday, um, uh, Ben, I'm counting on you, sir, if you have any uh, snapshot from yesterday, that will be very nice. You know, Timmy, Pierre, whatever, any of you, if you have Jose, whatever. So now we are going on uh, uh, on the ES, uh, YM, and CL. Uh, on the scalpers, uh, we are 6,700 on the scalpers and five, those are based on one minute, 150. To go back to this market analyzer, and I have showed you the other screen is uh, complete, is finished, is done, is over. At the moment, uh, based on one contract, we have 479 ticks based on the last entry. The total amount based on one contract is 4,163.75. Look at this one, guys. Now you are, uh, how, on this chart here, uh, remember, guys, for the ones who have the FIBs, anytime you see double support or double resistance, there is a trouble. So if you are on that trade right now and uh, you are nailing 100, 200, 300, the market, it will be projecting from that area, the 27, 24 even. And then probably it's going to go back, retest those numbers, and then go back and, and break those areas. Most of the time, those areas here are uh, the support, especially on a serious chart. Uh, the, the three minutes of chart. Uh, this is a very serious chart. And uh, you will see you will have a problem on the 27, 24 to analyze what's going on uh, we uh, we have on the 1 minute 2722 which this is about right because on the the system is based on 1 minute and your your uh, target on this uh, 1 minute is uh, 2250 and if we look at your 3 minutes this is right in line with that area here so we can identify that entry folks but the beauty about this when we are over that trend and we are going to the reversal as a trader you should not be taking one direction trade as a trader you should be qualified to learn we have covered a lot that once you hit your target you should look for reversals because reversals are damn good uh, money in the reversal. The money is in the reversals, it's not in the trend. I don't care what everybody said. I've been behind those screens 28 years. I know what I'm saying. But the thing is with the reversals, you have to be a little bit more, um, you have to be a little bit more aggressive and you have to be trained on the reversal. So those here is going to help you once you get your symmetry reversal. And then uh, I will probably going to add a few reversals indicators on in here. And then you see what is your symmetry right there. And those are not repaint, folks. This is amazing. Uh, turning around points, and that can really identify the trend. As an example right now, uh, with the FIBS, this one here, you had a double support line, which it had a problem earlier today on the double support line. And once, um, okay, Ben, thank you, sir. 
Is this from yesterday, Ben? Okay, folks, because that gentleman, when I told him I lost my, uh, uh, my, uh, thank you, sir. This is uh, from one of our customers, Ben. And he said, how come you are uh, chatting with me? They tried to find a small little gap to go under our skin. That's very fine. Uh, this is uh, yesterday. I don't know what time. Yes, it is right there, 1442.59 yesterday. And um, this is confirmed in my system because this is around uh, one hour after I got uh, the power back on. Yesterday, thank you, Ben. Uh, yesterday, we had 1,372 ticks into the profit, total amount 9,137.50. And that snapshot is not coming from me, it's uh, coming from a gentleman, it's our customer called Ben. Thank you, Ben. And uh, you saved, uh, just want to try to prove a point to, to some weirdos out there. And um, that's good. So, um, I'm, I'm going to take a five minutes of break and I'll be right back. No, sir, it's not just an ES. Uh, you can uh, use it on any given market. But uh, before I go, sir, and show you the CL, 
and uh, some other instruments because I don't want to overload. Uh, then it might cause a little delay or something. So I'm always, uh, it's a bit stressful, guys, to be on a YouTube and uh, dealing with uh, life and everything. If you if you notice here, we are on the 26 level. And uh, this is, I love that chart. I really love that chart because nothing but signals in it. There is no uh, dummy indicators in there. And... Uh, and each one of them is a huge system. But if we look at the, when you combine the one minute, if you notice, uh, this is your fib line. Your fib line is uh, right there, 2727 right now. And we are about to break it. There is no big deal on that. And the final destination is around 2250. We are about to break it, but when you combine those two together, folks, um, with those signals, uh, because we're no longer relying on the trader to make up his decision. I, I, I'm done with that area five years ago. Um, for the last five years ago, uh, I'm not dependent on the trader to make decisions because I find out that when a trader making a decision, he's fallen right through his head. I'm not doing this anymore. So what I'm, what what we are building, uh, anything for the trader to just follow entries and follow signals, and uh, this is, uh, I'm going forward with that 100%. No indicators. Stand, put in the five, ten indicators, combine those ten indicators and make one signal out of it. This is how it works now. The algorithm, the math, this is the way it works. So, um, uh, okay, we have a little pullback. I will, uh, I will show you some other instruments like a CL. And you can see how it is with the CL and some other. Uh, yeah, because... Um, we have a lot of news today. The market is going left and right. We have a news, a high news at 11.15. Uh, so there is a lot of FOMC. Oh, man, it's just, it is nothing but news today. Let me show you, sir, on the CL. This is your CL. Let me show you. Uh, maybe we will have a better picture on it. Look at this. You have your symmetry. Those, they do not repaint, sir. You have a symmetry here. They do not repaint, again. Plus, the reason is in a gray, because it colors the bars for you. After the symmetry, you have a buy, and a buy, and a confirmation. It came in exactly to the 66, 62, and then you have a symmetry, and then you have a sell, and then you have a symmetry. Then you have confirmation, buy, symmetry, symmetry, and it is it came out exactly to your double resistant here. Symmetry. Then we have a breakout. It is amazing, amazing. And this is your uh, today's support at 66.42. This is your uh, support line today on the uh, CL. We can take anything you want on it. And it is a very powerful chart. I will add some more on it, but I didn't want it to um uh populate that uh, a lot you had a buy entry here folks symmetry right there they're not repaint folks they're not then when the nasdaq come down we had two sell trades on the nasdaq 
and it came in right in line with your target and now it's a bit below the target so this is this is a really powerful a chart and uh, takes you maybe a couple days to get the hang of it but uh, this is something you cannot skip and I will be modifying uh, when I have more time I will be uh, modifying uh, that one uh, more uh, to be uh, at uh, a very high standard trading on it um, and it you cannot go wrong with it you just simply cannot go wrong with it and um, uh, right now on the on the ES we have a pullback because uh, the the support line on the one minute yes it is it is very good to combine both sir uh, the one minute and the three minutes on it and uh, because also the one minutes the ones we have is combined our one 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 minute on the chart is combined the three and the five and the 15 minutes of chart so you cannot also uh, dismiss the uh, the 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 the, the, three, the one minute is a very powerful one but this one here is gonna um, get you uh, uh, in the clear with it the, there is a lot of uh, signals uh, there is a lot of uh, news uh, guys so we are sitting on the side and the market is uh, going up and down because there is a lot of a lot of news coming out today so I'm not going to be covering a lot. We have uh, 11 50, 15. We have a news and then we have the uh, FOMC and all this. So this is a, a day where turn off your live trade and stay on a sim. You know, don't uh, don't mess up uh, today. It's a, it's a lot of volatility. So please uh, be aware of the uh, trade in today. Um, uh, the way we are designing when you are putting those filters on this uh, new auto trades what I have on my mind is stand uh, especially for those guys uh, they have a three thousand and five thousand dollar. They want to poke the whole market with it. So, what uh, uh, if you think about it? You get if you spread out your your trade and hedge the market by taking one contract ES, one contract YM, and one contract Nasdaq. Let's say it's a two hundred fifty dollars a piece. Some of the days you will have a problem with the NASDAQ. Some of the days you have a problem with the, the ES. Some of the days you have a problem uh, with the, one of the instruments. And some of them, they work like a clock, all of them. But the way uh, we are designing this one here, uh, uh, this is the most... Uh, a problem it is by the traders we find out when you tell this guy let's say on one contract 250 or 300 uh, the biggest mistakes they do and you should be done by 12 o'clock the biggest mistake they do they extend the life on the auto trade because now they want to double up their profits and this is wrong uh, you stay on the same timing but you add contracts so I wanted to stay on uh, between 9 and 12. We can start with one contract, 250 ES, 250 NASDAQ, and 250 YM. Now, if we hit this target immediately, we can always right to click on the chart and go for one more round. But you should not be making the auto trade to go $1,000 and all your account is 5000 So you're asking to make 100% or 3000 You're asking to make 100% every day. This is, is not going to happen. 
but if we hatch the market 250 on each market and then we can take it from there because some days you will have the 250 on one trade and done and over with and sometimes it's gonna go in the circle like today you're gonna be making 600 700 go back to 100 and drop because there is a lot of news today and uh, the market going left and right so probably uh, for that guy to uh, to take the 250 and then if he sees this market or he sees this auto trade has hit the market uh, then he can go for another round until 12 o'clock because I prefer for that trader not to stay in the market all day long. The reason is uh, um, it's like you're sitting on a poker table. You cannot sit on that table all day long making money. And the same thing with the uh, with the trading. You cannot simply sit down all day long and trade and make money. And uh, most of the traders they think is when uh, you have an auto trade, uh, you're gonna be 24 seven. No, 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 no. Because there is a certain time that auto trade is gonna bump into volatility. This is what traders, they keep rushing off uh, hard areas or hard time during the daytime when uh, there is a problems with the trading, whether you are manual or automated. So when you put those filters on, we add those filters on that, uh, that guy, we are protecting him if he wanted to be aggressive 24 seven. Uh, let's go back on the ES story. Uh, the target on the three minutes is uh, 24.75 and you know, we are right at the 26.25. What is the one minute? And we still have a problem on the ES. If we notice on this ES, we've been, uh, those your zone, we've been going. This uh, dot here, this dots here is coming from your zone. You know, this is a reversal, verifying the market is over from that dot here, the diamond dot. So from the 27, 27 on the ES, we have hit it from 10, 16, right now is almost 11. One time, two time, three times, four times, five times, six times, seven times, eight times, we hit the same line. And now it's going back to, to retest it one more time. This is where uh, the guys with auto trading, they don't understand when the market gets stuck in the channel. They don't understand when this market get into volatility or the market is no longer tradable because right now what we are looking for a breakout either above that line, 32.50, or we need to drop below the 2727. As we see here, this market got stuck. And this is the problem with those amateur auto trading and they don't know how to read the market. They come in probably when they start the, the auto trade is stuck in a channel and they don't understand that. So our job to make an auto trade for them when it's stuck in a channel like this, the auto trade will not make any trades. Will not make any trades, will sit on the side. The only time it will make a trade when this market is trending. This is a huge challenge for us and we are working on it very hard and uh, we should be getting out very soon. Uh, for somebody asking free trial. Sir, I do not have a free trial. The problem with the free trial people, most of them are broke. And uh, once they are done with the trial, the file ends up in China or in Russia. We have no free trial. You don't have to purchase the software. We have a plenty of members. There is no free trial. Do not, we get every day 30, 40 emails with a free trial. Those guys, you need to sit down, teach them how to trade spend three weeks with them and then what they're going to do with the file take it to china or russia and try to crack the software there is no free trial and you don't have to purchase we wish you a happy life uh 27 27 
is uh, we're going back on it. You give that, we, we have a lot of system. You give that system to somebody don't want it to be trained. We need to sit down three weeks with them to train him and uh, turn out those guys. They only have $1,000 or $600 left in their account. We're not doing this anymore. We're done with that. You know, when we have a free time, yes, you're very welcome. But right now we do not have a free time for to sit down with somebody uh, three weeks training him how to use the software. Uh, uh, it's more expensive uh, to, so for us, it will be cheaper for him to go somewhere else than to sit down with him three weeks from our time. Our time is very, very valuable and uh, we don't have any more uh, rooms for anything anymore. There's only eight hours uh, a day uh, you can there we go we are about to break out that area here so we are coming right in line with uh, the with this es right there beautiful 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 trade watch out for this uh, double uh, support line the double support line is a uh, 2250 which we're gonna have a little problem right there final destination it is 17 level here look 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 look, look how this es is gonna have a problem right there this is a 2275 you can see where this es flirting with the 2250 2275 when you see on your zone there is a double support or a double resistance, uh, there is no more. This is crap. Yeah, yeah. Look, look where this ES stuck. Right in line to the tick. Right in line to the tick. This is what we have estimated half an hour ago. And this is where it gave us the signal on the ES a couple hours ago, right there. This is what uh, the system gave us a cell signal an hour ago, a cell signal. This is your symmetry. Look where this ES flirting with the 2250, which we have predicted half an hour ago and um, right in line folks once we get today the um is trying to break it is very fine final destination is 1775 and this is now we i want to show my traders now as a, for a one minute we are already hit the target for the one minute the automated to trade we already hit the target. There is nothing left on this one here. And on the YM, we hit uh, 1,200. It's very fine. But uh, I want to cover again. On the DAX, we have one trade is $5,000. We have the DAX on one trade. And this is the only trade for today on the three minutes the trade was taken at 904 4737 and it's still kicking welcome to trading trading you're gonna have a good days and a bad days it cannot be all good days for folks does that mean tomorrow that that dax is gonna make four thousand i don't know Take a coin and flip it. Look at this. Look at this. This is accuracy. We have called. Look, now the ES is trying to break that area, but where the ES stopped, where the ES having a problem, exactly where we called it, 2250 half an hour ago 
Final, final destination before lunch is 17.25 and a reversal at 20, uh, at uh, 27, uh, 17.75. This is a reversal, folks. But on that chart here, you will have the confirmation with the symmetry, the exit and the entry in the same time. So you can take it. On the YM, uh, we are done with the YM and there is no more trade on the YM. You hit the double support line from your zone. There is a resistance here. There is nothing left on the YM. Uh, let me look at the NASDAQ. We have not covered the NASDAQ. No, we have not. Well, it's too late to cover it. Uh, we have predicted exactly where that ES is gonna struggle with and this is your ES one minute. He's going to have a bump right here at 27.27. And then it's going to go back retesting the 22.50 as expected. So let's see. It's trying to, to break that area one more time. This is, this is really for trader, even if you are auto trade or if you are swing trading, when you have a trace like this, um, you know exactly where you need to exit and when you need to enter the market also, even if you're auto trade, not taking any trade, you can always uh, find You see what is the buy entry? Symmetry. Buy entry. And a symmetry. And this one here was right there. Before it was right in, in line. And then you get the sell signal. Look. So here is the story folks is whether you are auto trading or you are manual trading if you are on that trade and you see double support or resistance it's always there is a, a projection always i cannot say 100 percent because there is nothing in this market 100 percent. but when you see double support or a double resistance this is where you can take advantage of this area and start to reverse your market. For me, I like it to be burnt a little bit more before I can reverse this market. I prefer to take it from here at a 17 level. There is enough confirmation to take it at 17 level. Uh, the reversals are a little bit tricky, but once you learn how the reversal work, uh, it is amazing how much money you can make on the reversal and also can keep you out of a chop. The reversal can keep you out of a chop because when, um, if you are using a Renko bar for reversal, as you see here, you have, you're not interested in those trade inside the band. We are only interested in a trade out of the band. And this is where uh, you can really uh, pinpoint on the on the ES you use a three one on the CL and the rest you use a six two Renko bar, but uh, this is where uh, on the ES you use a three one. The only instrument you use uh, is a three one is the ES uh, chart, and the rest is six two. So now the uh, ES is going back in trying to retest at 22.50. Uh, let me look.
Okay, guys, I will be, uh, for the ES traders, you need to keep your eye on the 2250, and I'm going to stay quiet a little bit, and uh, we'll see what will happen. Thank you. Until now, it's not able to uh, to crack that uh, number yet. So it's about to, but you can see how powerful it is. Once we break that area, folks, we're going final destination with reversal, close open position, 2717. Close open position, 2717. Follow us on SIM. We're not allowed to call live trade for you. Thank you.
Okay, guys, on um, we still flirting with that number, and now it's coming. Now you close position at uh, twenty seven sixteen seventy five, and uh, follow us with one opening position, please. We have. Until now, based on the last entry, we have 725 ticks, total amount 5,948. The market analyzer based on one minute only, one minute only, and it is one contract only. So right now, based on the last entry, 40 ticks on the ES, 500. NASDAQ, uh, 234 ticks based on the last entry. Not all day long, folks, not all day long. 139 ticks based on the last entry signal. 95 ticks on the uh, Russell, 30-year Treasury bond. 15 ticks, 23 gold, on and on and on. So, so, so right now, folks, if you notice here, I, I, have, I have one contract. And here I have two, you know, I'm showing it to you. And it is, follow us on a sim, sim please, only sim. And now enter buy market. Now we want to see the symmetry. We want to see if you don't know how to nail uh, the uh, reversal right away. I want to show you now you start getting the signals how to reverse that market. Wait. If you want to follow that trade, please follow it on a sim. Do not to go live with it. I want to show the traders how you're going to have those uh, signals, symmetry, uh, exit, all those is coming your direction right now. So let's, let's cover that today. So when you have the template in your hand, you know what to do. A little bit pushing the market down, unexpected. Wait. It's 11.05. Let me see what else in news we have. Okay, we have 11.15, the news, that's why, 11.15, another one. 
and we have a medium. Oh, Jesus. There is a lot of news. We'll wait on it. On the DAX one trade, uh, we are $8,000 on one trade on the DAX. Amazing. This is uh, your uh, a new auto trade. This is your three minutes auto trade. Uh, we are still testing it uh, live um, without the filters. And uh, this is a new auto trade. Earlier this morning made 5,806. And uh, right now we have 9,279 on those here. The ES. Uh, this is your ES is uh, 1,900. Uh, the CL uh, has not took has not took a trade on the CL, but you know there is nothing but winning trades on the CL. And uh, uh, the DAX. So this one here is between if this market a trend then it's going to stay on that trade. And if this is a small trade, there is going to be a small trade. But this is a very excited to, to start releasing that auto trade very soon. And uh, I hope that will do it. So right now we hit the 10,000 on that auto trade. And then earlier this morning, we made 5,000. So this is a $15,000 on that auto trade today. Yes, it just closed that trade on the SIM and the one we called it. Is it just? I don't know why, but it did go farther than what you expected. I wanted to show you how you can reverse the market, but we can show you how. So this is hit 11,498. Uh, the CL, there is no trace on the CL. We are done with that. The NASDAQ, very nice entry. Uh, YM, very nice, ES. Uh, today, the ES, we started, there is not even one losing trade on the ES today. And this is without any filter. So this is really, really uh, nice uh, trade on it. Now we hit the 12,000, it's amazing. Uh, the DAX on the swing trading, we still have, this is a total different auto trade. This is your swing trading. And um, the first trade was uh, 858 actually and already hit the 10,000 market order. This is not a limited order, this is a market order, 10,288. That uh, gives us, uh, telling us when the market is moving, uh, the swing trading is not gonna miss a trade. And when the market is not moving, we'll come to trading like anybody else, you will not be making uh, money is all about uh, 
is all about uh, if this market moving or not. But this is a very, very impressive auto trade. And I don't care about the, the, the amount because it could be tomorrow only $200. But what I'm, what I'm, what I'm looking at the entry. How stable the entries are. Today you make five thousand. Tomorrow you lose two hundred. Uh, you lose five hundred. Welcome to trading. But what I wanted to see is how this this uh, new auto trade handling stress, and this is exactly uh, how we are handling it. And I like what I'm looking at the way it entered the market and the way I'm not looking at numbers like anybody else. I'm looking at that area right there. It was a very thin right there. And then when, when it start trending, it took that trade. This is where the area I don't need to be trading. And this is exactly how I need it. Earlier this morning did not take any trade and when it start trending perfect exit and this one here the exits are not uh, based on the trailing stops. I hate trailing stops. We're going to put a uh, trailing stop as an option for you. But when you put the trailing stop on zero, this mean you let the system take over, which I strongly advise you to do that. The way it entered the market and the way it exit right before that area here. This is something. And then we did the same thing here. And then when it exited, it start trending again. We took that trade one more time. And we skipped that area here. This is very good. And then we took a perfect entry that not even a human can do that. Uh, the YM, we have a, a little chop on the YM at the beginning. That's fair enough because it's still without a filter. And uh, once we put the filters on, this is your ES trait. Once we put the ES, uh, when, once you put the filters on, uh, then you will be skipping the chop market. You will not have as many trades as you see right now. You will be limited with the trades, but this is what all count about to keep you out of trouble. So this is very good. And it is staying on that trade. That's also good. So when the market is uh, trending, is opening up. And when the market start getting tight, is closing as soon as possible. This is the way it's supposed to be without any calculation by a human this way. We are done with that one. It's eleven fourteen. There is not much going on. I want to wait till we get the symmetry and the um, a reversal on this one to cover it. How to look at it? We don't have any signals right now. So I wanted to stay uh, to cover when the market is uh, telling you is over and uh, when to re-enter the market. We went to one bar below this uh, uh, area, 17, 17. They pushed it down, fair enough. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. There is a lot of news today, but we will be covering that uh, chart uh, today, tomorrow, day after tomorrow, and I will modify I will add the reversal on it as well. And uh, we will be looking at this one here in action when it's telling us to buy and sell uh, and the symmetry, all of it. Uh, we will be uh, covering it the whole week, that chart, so you know what you're doing uh, for our traders. Absolutely. Uh, on the market analyzers, the one that just traded the signals, we have 1,221 takes. And the profit based on the last entry, total amount 
58. What is gonna happen tomorrow? After the market trend one or two days, which I can see from Ben uh, picture, uh, because I didn't have power. Yesterday, we had the same good runs, and this is from one of our customers yesterday. And it was, he have the same clock as I do. He gave it to me, actually. Uh, 1442.59, it was uh, based on the last entry, 1,372 ticks into the profit, total amount 9,137. And that is from the customer, it's not from me. And you can see, I don't know if you can see, but you can see his testing is right there. And it's all based on one contract. Uh, today is the same, uh, let me see if I can get it bigger. The, this is his trades. And those are his results from yesterday. Uh, uh, this is the second day we've been having a very beautiful run in the market. Now we hit the DAX 10,000. So uh, tomorrow try to be uh, careful because when we have two days running like this, tomorrow we're going to be in a lot, probably we'll see tomorrow. It could be uh, uh, we are be sitting on the side tomorrow. So. When we have two days on a row, the market moves a lot. And we need to confirm those numbers. And uh, that, I hope so, it's not going to be dragged tomorrow with uh, confirming all those numbers we have got today. So that's what happened after two days run. Uh, we get to a lot of problems sometimes on the third day. I'm still waiting on... Uh, confirming the reversal and uh, or any signals here right now so i'm gonna be staying with you guys because i want to cover that area right now and i want to cover when uh, we are done with the when we get the new signal in to reverse the market i would like to be uh, showing you how you can uh, look at this one here so uh, hang in there and I'll stay quiet for a while and uh, we will be um, where do you want me to put it sir um, here okay when it's ready it's ready uh, don't please don't push me on it when it's ready, I want to make sure that when this trader is using it, uh, he's not going to get in trouble. So when it's ready, it's ready. Uh, could be one week or two weeks from now. I don't know. Okay, we're sitting on the side and um, waiting for those reversal signals. So I can show you how to do that. And... Um, I'll stay quiet for a while. Thank you.
on on the signal we have hit 1274 and we almost hit 10,000 and now it's back a little bit but we just crossed the 10,000 on it based on one contract look nothing right now there is nothing no signals so we are waiting i would like to cover that before i send out this template and i will be modifying it again uh, i'm gonna put uh, some reversal indicators we have that they don't they don't repaint but i don't want to populate it a lot but uh, i'll see how uh, uh, put all the signals in here and uh, make sure that is not over uh, populated with that. But if you, if you notice, we do not have a reversal signal until now, not even a, a beep uh, on that one. What I'm scared of, uh, it took me by surprise uh, to take penetrate the uh, 27, 17, 75, took me by surprise. Welcome to trading. Eight out of ten would have hold. Today did not. The trend is very strong to the downside. Fair enough. But now this one here become a resistant. It's no longer support. So there is a resistant at twenty seven, fifteen five. So um, it don't seems like this uh, market is about to uh, get out of those area. And uh, as you see, there is no signals coming in. So we still in the, yes, sir, a very strong uh, uh, trend to the downside on that one. And that probably um, Jose is uh, because you still have a lot of news today. And this is where uh, you're going to have, especially around one o'clock, uh, if you are trading auto trade, Jose, and you are using the swing trading. When you are using a big swing trading like this one here, you don't worry about one uh, uh, one ticket slippage or a couple ticks of slippage. My problem is you will have a problem uh, on the news like this or on any major news if you are trying to scalp the market, you're going to bump into a lot of slippage. The reason is you cannot scalp the market on the news. This is very important, guys. <clears throat> it requires a smooth ride. In other words, when you want to try to scalp the market, uh, it is very good to, to start the scalper two hours before the market's open if there is no news then around 9.25, you need to stop those scalpers and uh, then start those scalpers at 9.45, Jose. Where on the swing trading, you can start at 9.30, there is no problem with that, you know. You can start at 9.30. Now here we hit the target. If we didn't hit the target today uh, and uh, stop uh, trading. So uh, in a way, uh, please, if you don't have uh, any trade in the market, you don't have any opening position. And if you are a scalping, then around 9.20, 9.15, whatever, 9.25, you need to post that auto trade and you can see here is post. Then you wait a few minutes till the market start leveling out, smoothing out because when the market is open in the morning, even if you are a manual trader, uh, you uh, there is a volatility going left and right, you know. So if you want to continue scalping, it is very good to scalp the market around 9.45 where everything is calm. On the news, when uh, like today, uh, there is a plenty in news, and still there is a wild ride 
uh, at one o'clock. So uh, should I be scalping at one o'clock? No, hell no. Uh, should I use uh, the, the swing trading uh, on the news? Yes, you can. And it, and it will never miss a trade and it's gonna uh, swallow this market uh, either or either direction. It's gonna go ahead and hit this market. So yes, it is very good to use uh, to all our traders, uh, get ready. You can do the same uh, on the, the swing trading. Uh, turn on your swing trading. And uh, you want to see, put this uh, strategy under stress. At one o'clock, five minutes before one o'clock, the FOMC here, put a pose, you know, and then uh, two minutes before one o'clock, release every auto trade you have on a sim and try to see how they handle they are extremely good and uh, they are uh, they are they're handling uh, the the breaking news so if you are if you are a swing trading and there is some kind of news come in and spook the market you are in the money immediately on on the swing trading you are in the money immediately uh, on the scalping, if there is some, God forbid, there is some kind of bad news or something spooked the market, you got to watch out with the scalper because this is what it is. A scalper, it is trying to find a small window to go in and get a few ticks and get out. So you cannot scalp the market on the news. And this is a problem. Some traders cannot see the difference between a scalping and a swing trading. And it is very sad because a scalping is a, um, you got to treat it differently than, um, and then the swing trading, uh, very simple. So um, but try to do that guys, to the ones who has the, the swing trading. Actually that we have a traders, they wait, wait on the days like this to use the swing trading. So on the days like this, this is where you have a lot of tools. And that's why in 2018, going to 2019, you cannot take this market with one lousy auto trade. Because there is a certain, tomorrow, I guarantee you tomorrow, because we have two days running, Jose, tomorrow the, 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 the scalper is going to shine much more than today. The reason is, and tomorrow we're gonna have probably Ian banana with the swing trade and because two days on a run, the market moving very well. Tomorrow probably we're gonna bump into a lot of volatility and this is where, where the scalpers, they're gonna shine and not the swing trading tomorrow. Because of the market today and the news and all this, there is a lot of news today. The, 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 the swing trading, they're gonna swallow the whole market. They're, gonna, they're not gonna let it go. They're, gonna, they're not going to miss a trade at all. They will not miss a trade. But uh, tomorrow on the, on the, so today guys, especially for the new members, uh, turn on your auto trade, put it on a stop, uh, on a pause. Okay. And uh, a couple of three minutes before the news at one o'clock, release it. I try to do that, uh, guys, on ES, NASDAQ, Dow Jones, DAX, anything you have. Unleash it. And that auto trade going to eat it all. It's not going to miss it. If it change in direction at 1 o'clock between up and down, it's going to close reopen position immediately, market order, and it's going to follow that trend. At one o'clock, you will see, uh, Jose, the scalpers, all the trades are going to be in red. I'm telling you what is going to happen at one o'clock. So keep your eye on your uh, uh, scalpers and you'll see they're going to turn red for the five, 10 minutes. And then once the market start calm down, they start recover. So you cannot scout the market on, 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 a, on a, a breaking news. But if you are uh, swing trading, 
and as I showed you guys, let me try to, uh, whether you are using a filter or without a filter is the same if this market moving because the way we have the filter on, this is a three minutes ES and this is a three minutes ES because also there is a lot of traders don't know that or maybe they are not aware of that by tighten up the nuts too much on the filter you get a miss a trend you need to put a filter or you need to adjust your filter you cannot use one minute and a 10 minutes filter because then uh, you're gonna shoot yourself with it the the, the, the and, and the and the automated to trade in you have to have balance if you tight up the nut too much you're gonna miss a trade so by the time that auto trade take a trade maybe the trend is over at the same time you cannot lose the filters a lot because if you lose the filters a lot like tomorrow and you're gonna bump into volatility because now we have two days run in this market i don't know if it's gonna be one more day or tomorrow we're gonna get in dive in right into the chops i have no clue what is gonna happen tomorrow but from what i know from the last few years that when we have two nice running days you're gonna have one bad day the second day and uh this is where in the filter when we have a lot of chops in the in the market then the the, the filters uh, start kicking in in a way we should not be missing a trend and we should not uh, dive in into pile of mud you know and, and, and saying it nicely so if we look between a filter here and a filter here uh, actually it's the same entry because those filters are light they're not heavy and um, uh, and uh, and this is the whole idea about filtering just enough not to miss a trend just enough not to miss a trend so this is what uh, tomorrow i will show you uh, if this market uh, sideways then the filter start shining more than the just enough not to jump in on the first bumper in the market so uh, and uh, this is not uh, just the es all of them is the same uh, and I will show you also the one minute is all the same. Uh, ES, uh, Dow Jones, uh, all of them. Uh, uh, if you want to take also the ES one minute. Uh, this is uh, non-filtered and this one here is filtered. Uh, the difference between those two, Jose, is, uh, look, this is a filtered. If you notice on this one here is a filtered and the, the first trade was seven o'clock on this one here, seven o'clock morning. If we look at this one here, uh, the first trade was around uh, 6.30, sir, you see? around 6.30 and it took one losing trade. And then this one here exited at uh, 27.44.25 and this one here 27.44.25. It's the same exit, but what it is, this one here is a $500 daily target because if this auto trade is going to your direction, it's not gonna close that trade, it's gonna stay. Whether if you are trading the ES today, and your daily target is 200, 300, 500, 1000, still come out with the same results. So you can see between the filtered and unfiltered, if you calculate them, this one here is one trade, 1300. This one here is two trade, slippage commission, it, it will, will always wind up with the same. So what happened here, we missed one trade on the filter and this is what counts that's all what i need i need something to to jump out of uh, uh, volatility 
and at the same time not missing the trade because God forbid, I mean, if you are going to be missing that trade here, then uh, we are wasting our time, you know. So uh, tomorrow you will see the difference between, uh, which I have sent the template on Monday when we had, um, um, uh, when, um, uh, on Monday, I have uh, sent you all the template. Uh, everybody got the template with the filter. And I strongly recommend for you to stay uh, using uh, that filter uh, for, uh, for your own safety. You know, I was talking, I didn't see the CL entry, but uh, we had the CL entry. I didn't see that. That's what it is, uh, Jose, you know. Um, yeah. Takes time to learn things, especially new things. Takes time to, uh, to learn, uh, Every system has a limitation. There is nothing called unlimited. Every system, every auto trade, every indicator has limitation, what you can do with it. And, uh, and uh, once you learn the habit of that uh, system, uh, life will be much easier. Just to show you guys uh, how accurate those signals on that chart uh, we've been on 11.09 until now, 11.42. The system has not plot one reversal yet. If you notice here, if you notice, the system is always plotting reversals, telling you when it's over. And uh, I want to show you that until now, we don't have any indication or any signals telling us the party is over to the downside. Out of all those signals, we don't have anything telling us to buy, exit. We have nothing. We don't even have a symmetry telling us exit. There is nothing. It's clean. There is nothing indicating the trend over on that one. And like when we were going up, it was a lot of indication telling us when it was a reversal. And right now, there is not even a beep uh, out of any signals coming out from that area here that indicate it's not a, just a black box, you know. Um, sure, I will be more than a glad. I will be uh, keep uh, running it uh, for a while. At the moment, from the entry signal, we have 1,229 ticks based on the last entry. Uh, this is the system uh, we are testing and we are about to release. Once the programmers deliver uh, the rest of the puzzle, and then we have modified, we have been modifying a lot on it. And then I changed my mind, we're gonna add the limited uh, order as well on it. And uh, this is uh, the new auto trade we're gonna be dealing with uh, very soon. And we will be running it on the YouTube as well. Uh, your scalpers doing very well. And, um, and those uh, swing trading, we still on the same trade. And uh, some of them, um, this is again, uh, Jose, uh, this is a DAX with no filter, it's 9,337. And uh, this is a DAX with filter. Let me see the entry. The entry is a uh, 56 level. And uh, this one here is 56.5 level. So um, this is still the same trade. And the first trade was at, um, 
eight, uh, around 8.48, sir, you know, on the DAX. Normally, I don't like to trade the DAX during the US session, but uh, it just some people have a different timing. But uh, this is what uh, I have to show everything in there. We will be staying a few more minutes. Uh, I'll stay quiet a little bit. And uh, probably there is a new signal coming on the CL. So maybe we can, um, uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. We have a lot of eyes on us. We're pissing off everyone. Okay. Yeah. And, um, Okay, right now on that new auto trade, we close most of the position except the NASDAQ. We still have one position. Right now that new auto trade, 12,400. And then we have another 3,000 on the NASDAQ. Has not closed position on this one here. It is an amazing system. Uh, look, uh, now... Uh, because I'm watching, I want to cover the ES reversals on this new chart. Now, just closed uh, the ES on the three minutes. So, we still, if this one is closed on the ES, that means the trend is over on the ES. We should have some kind of reversal. Uh, the YM is finished. Uh, NASDAQ is still on. We have 2,900 on the NASDAQ. Uh, there is no trade on the CL. And uh, the DAX, it just closed the DAX. Beautiful trade on the DAX from 11,280 to 1190. Beautiful entry, a beautiful exit. You will never be able to, uh, for the ones that want uh, the template, that template, just uh, write template, sir. Just put template and I will send it to you when we are off uh, uh, the air. I'm still waiting on uh, reversals on the, the ES to show you how accurate uh, to uh, reverse this market entry. And um, I'm gonna stay quiet for a few minutes and then uh, we'll wait till those uh, plot and uh, we will be covering. Okay, look at this baby. Look, 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 we just got a buy order. If you wanna follow this, follow this on a SIM, please. Follow this on a SIM, uh, do not uh, go, but this is our first buy order right there. How long, how long this market has been on that line? from from 11.09 and thank you Neil of course sir uh, right after the you know what this is our first buy order right there folks and um, and now they're all going to be follow the symmetry all of them they're gonna follow. So uh, this is a really amazing signal. You know, also I thought about it uh, last year and then I got busy with this NT8 and we were going through wild right with uh, all kind, but I forgot about it, honestly. But now I thought about it uh, again and um, I'm gonna be those uh, sell and the buy entries I'm gonna be making automated trade out of it. The minute I deliver those those one guys for you, I will be jumping immediately. Or uh, I need to talk to my programmer. Either add the signal on that auto trade, or I will have separate one uh, because I uh, I don't want to make any more. Uh, complex complex auto trades because traders 
uh, get confused. Uh, I have uh, Jose uh, was uh, testing. Uh, we covered. When this happened, Jose, yesterday? When this happened yesterday? Um, Here's another one. Um, yesterday we were, uh, we covered this one in the room, uh, uh, the institutional auto trade. Uh, the, one of the things on the, this is one of our customers also doing this. On the institutional auto trade, we have uh, 10 different entries and 20 different filters. Uh, that uh, cause confusion among the traders. But uh, I will be, look at this buy entry. How much did that signal cost, honestly? How much did that signal cost? What is the price on a signal like this? Uh, I will be talking to my programmer to see if I will add this one as a second entry on this one here, or I will make a separate one. The ones that are eligible, uh, the ones are, uh, I like your opinion to, I mean, uh, everything we do is for our traders. We live for our traders. So uh, I would like your feedback, every customers we have, if you like to have it on the same auto trade, or you want me to make separate auto trade for this one, I'll be more than glad to do that. So, in the reality with this one here, you had a sell entry at the 2739.50 on the ES, and then up a closed position, open position at 2708.50. You do the calculation and you tell me how much this indicator is worth. It is all is in your system, guys. You're not buying anything new. So, but uh, I will send you the template and uh, you will see uh, everything is there. And uh, so this is a wild ride, you know, and uh, this is a very wild ride on a buy sell signal entry. And this is beside your, your floor and fibs, your entry, pullback re-entry, Fibs, the most accurate Fibs ever came out. I mean, what else you need? You know, I mean, I don't know. Maybe some people are not born to trade, you know, but uh, not everybody can trade. Not everyone can sing the song. Uh, this is the new auto trade, closed all trades right now on 14,000. Uh, this is, is not, has not been released. It will be released. We are doing some upgrading on it. We are finding, we are doing a tuning on it. But uh, today, uh, this is your best friend, the three minutes. And this is the new auto trade. But uh, again, before I get lost, forget, uh, I want my trader's opinion if you want it to have uh, the signal included and the same auto trade or you prefer to have separate one. It is very important to have the feedback. Uh, this is where we are service minded. This is where uh, 
we like to help. But for somebody who don't know what is FIBS or what is a stop loss, how to do ATM, we're not service minded with this area. But we are very much service minded when there is some serious things. I'll do whatever that the, the members decide. And I would like to have a vote uh, now when we, I'm sending you uh, the, the template. I want everyone telling me if you want me to do this separately or if you like me to add it on this new auto trade coming up. Uh, and then what we see, what is said, um, Ben said separate will be better. Well, it will be easier to maintain and I will uh, read what the others want and uh, we will uh, take it from there. But, um, Okay, uh, uh, Fatima from Philippines said uh, included. Uh, I don't know. This is also look. Uh, this is a three step. This is this is what I've been waiting, and I didn't want to. Okay, what the hell is going on? Okay, there is a new signal on the DAX. If you are interested in. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Folks, there is a three steps. There is a three steps you follow. Symmetry, buy, confirm. Okay? Without a doubt, because what I wanted, I want everyone to reverse. When we take a trade, we hit the target. You should not sit down on uh, and uh, looking at the sky. We trade, we finish, we hit the target. I wanted to take the trade on the way up. We need to, like a saw machine, up and down, up and down till 12 o'clock, keep banging on the market, or the market is going to bang on us. And, and uh, this is, uh, one day the market pook us, one day we pook the market. That's it. That's uh, There is nothing we can do about it. And... Um, so guys uh, it will be in your sky immediately and uh, please please do not ask me please do not uh, because this has happened on Monday we send a template for the auto trade and then 20 people want me to log in to put the template for them on the auto trade. And we have showed in the room how to put the, the template. Uh, today, I'm not going to give you support. Uh, the template, you have to put it under document, Ninja Trader 8, template, and there is a file called chart. You put the template in the chart. I'm, I cannot log in to anyone to put a template for anyone today. And you need to learn how to do that because this one is going to be modified and modified. And I cannot keep logging into 20 different people don't know where to put the, the chart template. This is your job to know Ninja Trader 8. It's not my job. We need to start limiting, uh, you know, all those because those are causing us a lot, you know. It's costing us a lot. So you go under document, Ninja Trader, template, chart. You lay that uh, document there, and then you right click on the chart and you load a template. If you don't know how to do that, Google it. But leave me out of it, please. Thank you. Folks, that's all what we have. For the guys do not know how to load a chart. For the guys do not know how to load a template for guys don't know what is a limited order. You are very welcome to ask those questions on the private webinars on Monday. But I cannot log in every five minutes to your computer. You know, it's become a little bit out of control. So we can record it on Monday. For the new guys, we can record it for you on Monday. And you can see how to load a chart, how to load a template, how to turn on Ninja Trader. We have one guy, he didn't turn off his computer because he did not know what to do uh, with Ninja Trader. 
we have another guy last week he turned on ninja trader 8 and he did not know uh, he need to activate the auto trade in order for the auto trade to work you know he thought by turning on the uh, the ninja trader is gonna be all fine and the ninja trader find its way to activate the auto trades so this is a wrong also i mean we don't mind to show you all this but we cannot take it uh, for granted constantly folks uh, it's a good uh, folks, uh, thank you very much for today, and uh, God bless you all. I look at this buy entry. Where is it? And look where we are. Thank you. It, is, it was a pleasure uh, with everyone today, and uh, we'll uh, see you tomorrow at ten o'clock. God, God bless you all. Bye for now.